my name is Keith Akins, and I am an associate president or associate professor of criminal justice and the past president of the faculty senate. I am a disabled veteran of the U.S. Army, uh, where I was in the infantry, and after I was medically retired, I used the GI Bill to go to uh, Florida State University, get a degree in military history, and then I went to the University of Florida and got a master's degree in anthropology and a doctorate in anthropology and religious studies. And my area of specialization is religious and political violence, uh, primarily in the forms of terrorism and hate crimes. So there are several different reasons. One is it op opens up an enormous amount of different career opportunities. Mm -hmm. People think that if you're in criminal justice, you know, you're going to graduate and become a police officer. And that's certainly true of some people. Uh, it's also a good pre-law degree. We have a lot of students go on to law school. Right. And one of them is a pretty well-known prosecutor here in Texas now. We have people go to work for federal agencies like the U.S. Marshals, Customs and Border Patrol, uh, the FBI, the DEA, the ATF. I've had two students at the CIA. We've also had students that have taken their degree and received commissions as officers in the military. A lot of people go into local law enforcement. People go into probation, parole jobs where they help judges determine who should get out on bail and who shouldn't and help in the pre-sentencing reports for uh, convicted felons. It's a very versatile degree. And the other reason I think that it's an important degree is even if you have no intention of ever working in the criminal justice field, you live in the criminal justice system all your life. Everything that you do, everything that you don't do is uh, determined by laws and the way the laws are enforced and the way the laws are carried out in the real world. Well, I, I particularly get that question in regards to students who want to go into policing. Okay. And no, you absolutely do not need a college degree to become a police officer. Right. And every police officer is going to start their career in a patrol car. The question is, when you're 10, 20 years down the road in your career, do you still want to be in that patrol car? Or do you want to be a lieutenant, a captain, maybe even a police chief? Do you want to be a detective? And you cannot advance in your career in law enforcement without a degree. We have competitive programs around the school or around the country that we kind of referred to despairingly, disparagingly as cop shops where the program's really easy. It's, you know, it's a, it's a simple degree to earn. Ours is not. If you're going to graduate from our program, you're going to understand this, the system. You're going to understand the scientific theories that explain the cause of crime, you're going to explain, you're going to learn the psychology, the sociology of why people become criminals. So the challenges are, it's a, it's a rigorous program. The payoff is you're prepared for your career when you get out. The Be best part of our program to me, I think, is that uh, a student can complete the degree from day one to graduation and be in a classroom for every class. 
They can live on campus. They can live on dorm, in a dorm. They can have the whole college experience that way. They can also complete the entire program from their home office. Uh, every course that we require is both offered on campus and online. So it's a great program for working professionals or for people with families who need the flexibility of being able to do the work in their own pace instead of showing up at a specific place and time every day. I've, I've had students who were in the National Guard called up and taken my classes from Afghanistan. Wow. So we're, we're really flexible about the way you take your courses. And you don't have to choose at the beginning one or the other. You can make that decision every single semester as your life progresses. We have some really interesting faculty here uh, that are nice to work with. We just hired a new professor. More than half our students are women and now three of our four faculty members are women. And that's not something that you see very often. Uh, the one thing I would tell every one of my new students is this is not going to be easy, but it's not going to be impossible. Right. Anyone can do it as long as they're willing to put in the, the work, the time, the effort. And the payoff is pretty great. Then I guess the last thing I would say about the advantage of this is the criminal justice field is recession proof. Right when realtors don't have houses to sell, when factories lay off shifts, when corporations downsize, that doesn't happen in law enforcement, that doesn't happen in the court system, that doesn't happen in the correction system. In fact, uh, during a time of recession, employability and criminal justice actually goes up. So in, in confusing economic times or dismaying economic times it's a really nice field to be in